So the National Assembly must decide on the way forward after a report by uh, the Independent Review Panel recommended uh, that uh, there's a prima facie evidence that does exist for uh, public protector Busisu M. Kwabane to be removed uh, from office. The National Assembly rules stipulate that Speaker Tandi Mudise must table the report and after consideration the House must decide whether further investigation is needed. The DA brought a motion to Parliament for Kwabane's fitness to be tested following several days Examining court findings against a parliamentary spokesperson, uh, Muloto Matapo, says uh, the panel has handed over the report to the speaker, Judge Johan Krichler, the chairperson of Freedom Under Law, joins me now live. Judge Krichler, very good evening to you. Thanks indeed for your time. So the findings following this preliminary assessment are that there is substantial information that constitutes a prima facie evidence of incompetence and that there is a sufficient information that constitutes a prima facie evidence of of misconduct. Can I get your reaction to that first, please? Uh, hello, Chris. Hello, good evening to the viewers. It's not a surprise. The evidence has been mounting up over years now. The complaints have been tumbling in from court to court, but case to case. The speaker has been very careful, went about it very, very cautiously about it in terms of the rules of parliament. The panel was appointed a very, very authoritative panel led by Justice Jason Kinder, and Mr. Kinder and Johan de Maul on it. They've produced a, a very, very substantial report. It runs over 100 pages. They've analyzed each and every one of the cases. Yeah. They come to very, very clear conclusions that there is ample evidence, ample prima facie evidence of both incompetence and uh, impropriety. So uh, it's over to Parliament now. Yeah. It doesn't seem political. I think that point must be made. The, the findings on, have got nothing to do with any political dispute between any particular group in Parliament. I am struggling to hear you there a bit, uh, Judge Krecher. But anyway, what happens next? Because the panel recommends that uh, for the reasons contained in that report, uh, the charges based on the findings of prima facie evidence of incompetence and misconduct be referred uh, to a committee of the National Assembly to investigate or inquire if it so revol resolves in terms of, I think it's Section 194 of the Constitution. What happens next? It should now go to the portfolio committee concerned. The portfolio committee should deal with the matter expeditiously. It doesn't have to go through all of the material again. It's been pre-digested for them by the uh, panel that was independent panel that was appointed. If the parliamentarians yeah. do their job, Portfolio committee should be able to do it expeditiously, quickly, easily, and refer it to the full house, which could then deal with the matter. Okay. Uh, yeah. A long time. Yeah. Judge Krecher, I mean, with such, uh, you know, damning words uh, within those findings, what does all of this effectively mean for the credibility of the public protector and her office? Oh, oh, oh. that's the tragedy. The tragedy is that the lady who's been the incumbent in the office has made such a mess of it. He has discredited the office over the last four years to such an extent that what's happening in Parliament at the moment is really only the conclusion of a very, very sad tale. Uh, we haven't seen the end of it yet. There's no reason to think that the public protector would now do the honourable thing and retire and disappear from public view. We will probably continue to fight tooth and nail for preservation of her office. Should all, all her reports be reviewed in light of what is now being said about uh, her office, uh, her level of, in of, of incompetence? And uh, uh, basically what uh, that report is finding is that she's not suitable for the job. That's what it says. Oh, quite clearly. Now, the job 
uh, let's not talk in fancy terminology. The panel has concluded that the findings against the public perspective are damning. They've couched it in careful legal language. The fact is that they have come to the conclusion that virtually all of the damning additional findings made against the public particular were justified. That's the, the, the sum total of it in your and my, my lay language. But she does not belong where she is. She should go. Judge Klechler, I really hope we had met more time. Thank you very much indeed for joining us here on the programme. Uh, Judge Johan Krechler, the chairperson of Freedom Under Law.